A purse seemed like a good idea for a concise DIY video. Here's the paint and sealant that I like to use for leather-like material. Since the purse is a circular shape, I thought that a spider web would go pretty well with it. And for anybody who's newer to DIY or has wanted to start a jacket or anything like that, everything that I use in this video can easily be used to do the exact same thing, so that's always good to keep in mind. And if you don't think that you're very good at painting, then you can always make stencils. A cheap and easy option for making stencils that I've used before is to just get some construction paper and then print whatever design you want to use onto it. After that, you can just cut out as much of it as you can with an X-Acto knife and then paint over it. Don't worry about it being too messy or anything like that. At least what I like to do is I go through after and then I crispen up all of the lines. I know it looks really tedious, but you don't have to do that necessarily either. To be honest, it can look even more punk or DIY if you just leave it how it is. And just for DIY in general, if painting isn't your thing, then you can always use patches. You can always buy patches online from bands or even make them out of old t-shirts. And then to add the patches on, you can either sew them on or if you don't know how to sew, then you can always just even add them on with safety pins. I personally think it's important to use sealant after you're done so that your work lasts. It's less likely to crack and flake off over time this way. I've used some other brands that I got from the craft store before and it just doesn't seem like they're as durable to me. Now for the studs. My favorite place to get studs and spikes is from studsandspikes.com based out of the US. They're priced pretty well and really good quality. The studs that I'm using have two prongs that you just stick through the fabric and then bend over to secure in place. With heavier or awkward materials kind of like this, it can be a little bit of a pain, but on jackets and stuff like that, they're a lot easier, I promise. Here you can see me using a little X-Acto knife just to make those holes a little bit looser so that you can stick those prongs through a little bit easier since this material is so thick. And here's the finished look for this side with all the studs. I also decided to cut the strap off so I could use a chain instead. Next I made a simple bat stencil so that I didn't have to try to paint the exact same thing twice. As you can see with the stencil, they don't always give you the cleanest lines, so I like to go in and make them a little bit more defined. Instead of just having bat silhouettes, I decided to add some detail and then also crispened up the lines again. I felt like this side of the purse still needed something more, so I decided to add some spider webs. Spider webs can always be kind of a safe bet because they can be fairly easy to paint, they don't have to be exact, and they just always look cool. And again, with just making those lines a little bit more neat.
and we can't forget that sealant. And now that it's all dry, here's the finished product. I love how it turned out and I think it's the perfect size for taking to concerts. <laughs>